Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the San Francisco 49ers and the Carolina Panthers. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Lance going to put it up right away. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. The start less than ideal as they already face a second and long. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Lance looking to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began. Thanks to a great defensive end. Sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Christian Kirk deep to return it. They juked him. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. start on the ground with McCaffrey and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line he'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play not in this case After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Back to throw here. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They go play action here on first down. That's complete out right to the tight end, Trimble. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. to throw now on first down and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes so after the sack a scenario you certainly don't work on too often second and 24 back to throw and oh it'll be intercepted 
picked off by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And meanwhile, Lance's throw taken in by Samuel. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Here we go, set. On first down, Lance. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. So now 20. Uh, off of play action, and here's Lance. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. out there and ready to begin their next drive they threw an interception the first time they had the football only gave up three points off of that so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome it really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick look i know defensive backs they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll drop the throw. And he's going to go down again. Nick Bosa in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Thomas. 
And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. And Brandon, how many times have we talked with these rookies out there and then we finally hear from them that the game slowed down and they're able to handle things? Not so far for this rookie because right now, back-to-back -back drives, they picked him off. Not college football anymore. He's got to find a way to handle when his defense is throw at him. This one caught by Kittle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 25 yards that time. And Lance now to throw. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Ty Davis Price with touchdown number seven on the year. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. No problem there on the extra point. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. This is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Moore, the man in motion. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. He'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Okay, ready? Puerto Rico. Ready. Lance now on first down. 20! And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Play action, now it's Lance. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. 
His throw caught right around the six. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And seconds. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. Here we go. Here's Lance. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Ty Davis Price. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point up and through. And that makes our score 17-0. The 49ers ready to kick it away. And here we go. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they are right at the 500 mark on the year and got there with a victory a week ago. And I think right now I put myself in the shoes of the head coach and say, all right, time to reset a little bit. And I don't give my team a win one for the Gipper speech, but I do say, look, we haven't played our best football yet, but we are at 500 and we're still in it. Let's try and string a few of these victories together and we're capable of doing so. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's, a that's into a crowd and intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage.
Back to throw again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Ambry Thomas. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four yeah. interceptions, and you can almost yeah. see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly yeah. is, and probably way too much. Because now, he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Now a play fake. Lance. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Panthers are going to have it here just past the 25. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. First down, he'll drop to throw. And this one's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They'll look to throw again. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Niners are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just... And that's caught inside the 35! On the set! So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. That's going to be caught! Touchdown 49ers! Debo Samuel as the first half is winding down. And the Niners are able to widen their lead here in this first half. The extra point up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They're going to look to throw. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. And now off to the races. Down the right side. The 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They did nothing the entire half, but out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a dunk in basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. 
So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up a throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team go. is struggling to put go. points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. And Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's brought down here just on, outside of the 20. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. On play action, Lance. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the 49ers take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra points safely through. And they open the lead up now to 25. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just... He's got a man complete! And the tackle going to be made at the 38. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Ambry Thomas. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And, I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They look awfully confident. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking the lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off of play action, and here's Lance. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. It's a net of 40 there. Punt of 48 and a return of eight. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of happen. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Ooh, the juke. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10, right at the 40. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That pass complete to Moore. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. to throw now on first down and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down second and ten now third quarter from Charlotte to throw here oh he's hit he lost the football put it on the carpet and now this is scooped up by the 49ers and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back 
You can admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I okay, do. Right? But let's face it, hey, you know his coaches right? are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he did. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Second down, and again, it's Davis Price. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now Lance going to throw. Open man is Ayu complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action. Now it's Lance. He'll fire this deep for Ayu. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. To throw on second and ten, Lance winds up and lets it go for Samuel. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now Lance throws the interception, his third. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And now here is another interception. And the 49ers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shot. 